Hi everyone, Leslie Ray with Digital Delights by Luby Lou here today to share with you a quick and easy Tuesday tutorial. Today we're going to make some gift bags using Digital Delights digital images, um, but we're going to make them on fabric. And to do this, you need um, your digital stamps, which I want to use the Reindeer Kittles and the Happy New Year Dumpling. And you need something, either a photo fabric paper, um, which allows you to print with your, with whichever printing method you want, um, or something like transfer artist paper. You need a bag to put your image on when you're done, and you need some big markets. I'll talk more about the, the photo paper in a minute. I used my desktop publishing program to print out some images and um, I arranged them in the size that I wanted them for my gift bag. And then um, today I'm using a Blumenthal product called Photo Fabric, um, but you could also, there's several products on the market that will allow you to print stuff from your computer onto fabric or some kind of iron-on transfer and how you use them will depend. Today I'm using the photo fabric paper um, and this is paper that is kind of a, a poplin kind of consistency um, and I'll be able to print on it and color on it and I want to sh and the reason I want to use this is because I wanted to show you some things you need to think about when you're using markers to color on paper. Um, to complete your gift bag when you're done, you'll just simply adhere it to your fabric, how the instructions on your package say. Each one is different, so I'm not going to go into that much detail on that. Um, I'll simply show you the finished product at the end, but I want you to consider how you color. Um, today, I'm going to work with the New Year dumpling. I have a final project of the the kittles that are is already colored, but you have to be careful. And what I did is I used the big markets, and in using the big markets, I found that there is a factor of bleed. Um, what I mean by that is, for instance, we have these two red markers. This is the fat marker, and so when I do this or I make a line down you can see how much it bleeds out so when you're coloring you want to keep that in mind so that you do not color too close to the edge of your line and then you have the skinny markers and as you see the skinny marker doesn't bleed so much and so for smaller pieces and details around hands and stuff these skinny markers are a lifesaver so I pulled out a variety of markers that I want to use and I'm going to start coloring and what I found is that if I color close to the line but not all the way and when I come back later some of the ink will have bled all the way to my color line since I'm going to cut this on out my outside of this line is not going to be so important as you know the lines of of the markers that when they come in contact with another color. Now depending on how dark you want your project depends on how much you want to go back. This particular product if we were printing a pre-colored digi, there is a rinse period that you have to go through with your product. Um, I'm not rinsing mine for the purpose of the markers. I'm going to treat it differently than I would if I had printed a colored digi on here. Okay, now there's some more places down here, but I'm just going to kind of dot at them because I'm going to come back with my skinny marker to get close to the details. 
and this skinny marker is not even the same color it's a lighter shade but it's going to serve the perfect purpose of coming in contact with that line and don't fret if while you're doing this your lines start bleeding on you it's the nature of the marker and trying to correct it sometimes will make it worse than to just go with it so I recommend printing out two just in case you never know when your marker is going to get extra extra juicy and you need a, a spare on hand the thing I do like about this is the ink does not seem to smear as I run over it with my Sharpie or with my big market. Okay, so that's colored so far. I want to color his hat band red. So I'm going to go ahead and color the center part of that red. And I want to color his hat, not his hat. His party horn, I'm going to color the little dots here, kind of red. So see, playing with the skinnier markers, you notice they don't bleed near as much as the, the big markers. and it allows for more attention to detail when you get to things so just kind of play with your markers this is what the big markers do for me I like them a lot and they get good coverage. Um, cutting it out, I just use a simple pair of fabric scissors since this is printed on fabric to do my cutting and it worked out really well. I could get a good um, a good edge. Here is just the base of our baby, and I'm going to uh, do this kind of line around his banner, too, to kind of give my marker a barrier to, to color up to color his little fingers and hand here and then I can bring out my peach to finish so And by doing that, that just allows you to remind yourself where your bleed zone is when you're coloring.
so as not to have to worry too much about that. And probably going around the whites of the eyes do the same thing. Around the blacks, it's just bleeding into the black, but around the whites, it's going to bleed into the white of the eye, and that won't look good. So just grab your smaller marker again and go around it so you have a, a layer to bleed into. So kind of get the idea. I'm going to show you again. Here is the little reindeer that I finished. And you'll notice in places that I still went in and did some shading um, just to kind of give it a little more depth. But when I put him on my bag, you won't even notice some of the little areas where the ink bleeded over just a smidge. So, but like I said, finish off your project after you're finished and you've got him all lined and nice and trimmed out. Finish him by following the directions on the back of the package. For instance, this one has you peel off this back layer and stick it on and then sew it in or, um, you know, use an iron-on adhesive with it. So I'm going to use some, some stitch witchery to, to stick it on and come back later and show you a little bag in my final project. So thank you for looking at the tutorial. Remember when you're working with fabric papers and such, you know, account for your bleed factor. This bleed up here is okay because I'm going to trim that out, but a bleed into the face of the little guy would not be as, um, as welcome because it would, you know, you'd have like black going down his face. It would be a bad thing. So I hope these tips help, and um, I can't wait to see what Christine shares with us next week. I hope everybody in the States has a happy holiday with the Thanksgiving, and um, I'll come back with some more ideas for Christmas gifts in two weeks. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for looking. This is Leslie Ray with Digital Delights by Libby Lou. Have a good day.